Good afternoon everyone, this is LA and for today, I'll be talking about the Miraculous Medal. Mother Mary appears to the nun in parish which is named St. Catherine and give her a mission which is to make a medal which is what we call now a miraculous medal. Mother Mary appears to St. Catherine just like this medal in which it has an inscription written says, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Around the top of the medal, and she's standing on the globe, and under the globe is Satan. So this depicts that Mother Mary is actually crushing the head of Satan. And she declares that Satan and all of his followers are helpless before her. And as you can see, her hands kind of coming out and it just looks like rays of light and that is the grace. And Mother Mary says to St. Catherine that whoever wears this medal around their neck will receive special graces and protection. And I know secondhand that that it was it is very much accurate but before discussing or before sharing to you the different miracles or the different victories happens related to the miraculous medal allow me first to discuss to you the meanings behind the design of the miraculous medals this is the actual design of the miraculous medal starting with the 12 stars encircled the large m is actually the apostles of Jesus Christ that represents the entire church surrounding Mother Mary. On the other hand, the cross that we actually see symbolizes Jesus Christ and our redemption, while the interweaving M under stands for Mary, who has close involvement with Jesus and our world. With this, we see Mary's part in our salvation and her role as mother of the church. Lastly, the two hearts beneath represents the love of Jesus and Mary for us and all the people around the world. We will now be talking about the different victories, the different success of some of the people related to the Miraculous Medal. Starting with, a miracle happened on June 1836. Unay bata, yung name is Rosalie Docas. At the age of four and a half, no, nawala iyang sight, or like nabuta siya. It wasn't stated there kung anong nabuta siya pero 4 years old and a half nabuta siya lahi yung pagkabuta kay unlike sa lahi bulag or mga di ba dili ka sakit katong na experience or na itabo kang Rosalie Doxan was actually very much painful sa iyang part because as what I have researched Every day, gasakit iyang mata. She's always crying and na traumatized siya because ato nga paghitabo. And then, iyang mother is very much faithful. So, always kasimba and all. And then, kabunan to nga lang kahi baludayan ang parish priest. Munan to nga gitagaan siya o uh, miraculous medal. Gitagaan to iyang mother and then excited kanyo ulit iyang mama. And then, pag-abot sa iyang balay, gihatag to sa iyang mama. I mean, gipasood sa iyang mama tong miraculous medal kay um, Rosalie, katong baby, eh, katong bata nga um, nabulag. And then, after wearing that, iyan itong ginasood to ni, ni Rosalie. And then, ga, ano po doon na vena iyang mama? Always ganda vena iyang mama. Kay lagi, yun man tong parish priest nga dapat daw ka pinalog novena and then dapat po mutuo sila. Umurin to nga after sa iyang novena is nawala ang kasakit sa kaping fall nga gibati ni Rosalie. And then umurin to nga iyang ginan yung mama about ato and then ayun din yung mama nga let's pray for, let's hope for the best. So umurin to nga instead nga iyan ang mama ang pray nag-appeal na silang pray tanan, nag-appeal na silang novena, gabi na nilang pagsalig kang Mama Mary and of course kay Jesus Christ. Mayroon to always lagay novena. Um, sa ilang ika, nine day nga novena, dito da yun nahitabu ang miracle in which si, si Rosalie nga nakakita, nakita na niya og balik ang katsada sa kalibutan. Nakita na niya ang kahayag o may balik na iyang sign. And that 
incident is has really make the family of Rosali, especially si Rosalie, um mas ni hugot ilang pagtuo kay Mother Mary and kay Jesus Christ because they believe na while ginawer to nila, while gawer daw sila sa miraculous na daw si Mother Mary, gauban sila for prayer and then ang ilang prayer daw is nahimo nga times to because of the miraculous medal. So that's one the that's the first one nga the, I mean the kan kaayo good different experiences different miracles nga naitabo but I decided to pick that one because it's very much ano para sa na moang naka struck sa ako moang naka hook sa ako ang attention so mo lang ako na siyang gipili so the other one nga um experience or incident nga naitabo nga related sa miraculous medal is of course atong very own Hidelin Diaz actually Ang kato yung miraculous medal was given to her by her friend. Tapos ginan din siya nga na adong novena nga iingon. So mao da yun to nga. Jury, eh, after atong pagkatag sa yung friend kay ga-pray na siya and then ginagrabe na yung pagtu kay Mother Mary. Ga-pray siya and then gatupot siya nga. While itong ginawear ang miraculous medal kay kauban niya o ginaprotektahan siya ni Mother Mary from all the negative things that would happen. So, mo din ito nga, na-highlight good og ayo ang miraculous medal at itong winning moment ni Hedilyn Diaz because there's a lot of pictures and all nga iya gyud tong gipakita ang miraculous medal and then yun put to siya sa interview nga um, nine days daw nga nagnovena ang iyang friends and family apil put siya before the competition and then muna yun to nga pagkadaog niya because sa iyang pagtuyod sa iya yung pagwan kay after sa iyang pagkadaog nakayong gyud siya nga wala daw siya nag-expect nga magdaog to niya tong inga to kabug at but then nagtuo gyud siya nga kauban niya si Mother Mary kauban niya si Jesus Christ muna yun nga pag aswat niya gabi daw kuno kay iyang kalipay dili daw ma-explain and that is why iya gyud gi-highlight og ayo ang miraculous medal because grabe ba iyang patient grabe ba gid iyang preparation and all kay di ba we already know her before siya nakadaog og gold medal because gapil na siya before pero dili gyud siya makasungkit og gold medal and then now mas ni hugot iyang faith instead nga di na siya magano di na siya bali-bali about sa ano sa pagtuo and all pero mas ni hugot iyang pagtuo because na test iyang patience kung kanus aba gyud so mo rinto nga hugot na kayang pagtuo and giubanan pagid sa miraculous medal so mao dayon to nga nahita mo ang iyang kadaugan so, sum it up there is actually no superstition or magic connected to the miraculous medal and it is not a good luck or it is not a lucky charm because it is actually a great testimony to faith and the power of trusting prayers you know what its greatest miracles are those of patience which has happened to hidden diaz diba like wala siya ni stop wala siya ni wala siya na contento nga di nga may ora siyang silver medalist because she has a goal and what keeps her going is because of the trust to Jesus Christ and to Mother Mary. And of course, mas na strong iyang pagtuo kay Mother Mary and kay Jesus Christ because of the miraculous medal. And forgiveness, um, repentance, and faith. To clear everything, ang miraculous medal, wala gid siya power. No? Not because there's a lot of incidents nga makaingon mo nga miracle, may nahitabo nga miracle, makaingon mo nga powerful ang miraculous medal. No. Ang miraculous medal, it's it's just an instrument para ang atong faith kay mas mo strong. Para mas mo strong atong pagtuo kay Mother Mary and kay Jesus Christ. And I believe nga, when we are actually praying the power of rosary, the miraculous medals, and other sacramentals will help us to pray nga ang atong prayer would become times two because kaoban naman ito si Mother Mary especially sa miraculous medal when we are praying ma times two good siya because Mother Mary is actually with us praying also so mo nga hindi siya power hindi siya yung nga power na power ang miraculous medal no instrument lang siya okay I hope everything is clear so that would end my discussion today about the miraculous medal